When you hear the term thumb joystick, the first image that probably pops into your mind is a game controller. While thumb joysticks are definitely common in gaming, in the world of DIY electronics, they open up a whole universe of exciting possibilities. You might use one to control the movements of a robot or rover you've built, allowing it to move forward, backward, or turn with intuitive thumb movements. Or perhaps you'd like to create a system for smoothly controlling camera movements. Let's explore how these joystick modules actually work and how you can connect them to an Arduino. So without wasting any time, let's get started. At the heart of how this joystick works are two 5K potentiometers. If you look at the joystick module closely, you'll notice two gray box-shaped components on either side. These are the potentiometers. As you move the joystick, you'll notice that each one only responds to movement in one direction. The potentiometer on one side only detects when you move the stick left or right, x-axis movement, while the other only detects when you move it up or down, y-axis movement. These potentiometers are connected to the joystick through a mechanical system called a gimbal mechanism, which we will discuss a bit later. This clever arrangement ensures that when you move the joystick diagonally, it properly separates that movement into the correct amounts of horizontal and vertical signals. Momentary push button switch. This joystick has a built-in push button switch activated by pressing the knob. A small lever inside ensures the switch works no matter the joystick's position. So, you can move it in any direction and still click it. Now, let's dive deeper into how the thumb joystick module works. How does the thumb joystick module work? It's really fascinating how a joystick can accurately convert even tiny movements of your fingertips into electrical signals that a computer or microcontroller can understand. This precision comes from the joystick's clever design, which uses two potentiometers and something called a gimbal mechanism. Gimbal mechanism. The gimbal mechanism is what allows the joystick to move smoothly in multiple directions. When you move the joystick, the thumb handle moves a thin rod that sits between two rotatable slotted shafts. These shafts form the gimbal system. One shaft controls movement along the x-axis, left and right, while the other controls movement along the y-axis, up and down. When you tilt the joystick forward or backward, the y-axis shaft rotates. When you move it left or right, the x-axis shaft rotates instead. When you push the joystick diagonally, both shafts rotate simultaneously. Now, how does the joystick convert these physical movements into electrical signals that your Arduino can understand? The answer lies in two special potentiometers. Each of the rotating shafts in the joystick connects to its own potentiometer. As you move the joystick, the shafts rotate, which causes the potentiometers to rotate as well. Inside each potentiometer is a contact arm, wiper, that slides along a resistive track. When the joystick moves all the way in one direction, this contact arm moves to one end of the track. When you move the joystick in the opposite direction, the arm moves to the other end. This changing position creates a changing resistance. By measuring these potentiometer values, the joystick's exact position can be determined. The joystick outputs an analog signal with a voltage between zero and VCC. That represents its position. As you move the joystick along the x-axis from one extreme to the other, the output voltage changes from 0V to VCC. The same happens for the y-axis. When the joystick is in its center, or resting position, the output voltage is about half of the supply voltage. This changing voltage can be read by the analog to digital converter, ADC, in a microcontroller to figure out exactly where the joystick is positioned. The analog readings for each axis can range from 0 to 10 turn 2 3. The animation shown illustrates the different values you can expect as you move the joystick in various directions. Thumb joystick module, pinout. GND is the ground pin. VCC powers the joystick module. 
Connect it to 3.3 to 5 volts. VRX pin provides an analog output signal of X axis. VRI pin provides an analog output signal of Y axis. SW pin connects to a built-in push button switch inside the joystick. Wiring a thumb joystick module to an Arduino. Here's a quick reference table showing all the pin connections. Your support means the world to us. Hitting that like and subscribe button keeps us inspired to create more awesome videos, so don't forget to show some love. Thanks for watching.